My Dublin, brought to you in association with Brennan's Bread. Today's bread, today, on Heart 109.6. Good morning, and you're very welcome along to a new show entitled My Dublin. And this is the first in a new series of weekly radio programmes brought to you here each and every Sunday morning on Heart 109.6 FM. Each week we will be hearing stories of some of Dublin's most cherished and well-known landmarks, and on today's show we will be taking an in-depth look the glorious surroundings of the Bull Island Beach just past Clontarf on the north side of the city. When can we go down beside the sea, beside the sea? When can we go down just you and me, just you and me? Now, the Bull Island and its neighbouring Dollymount Strand Beach have been at the heart of Dublin's heritage for as long as the average Dubliner can remember. With stunning views, fresh sea air and beautiful wildlife, this area remains a most popular choice for people to escape the hectic urban surroundings. We sent our very own Ronan Coyne out to the island to hear the stories of some of its most colourful characters. This week I was out on the Bull Island and spoke to Pat Corrigan, head of the Interpretive Centre and Bird Sanctuary, who told me a little bit about the island. The island here is um, it's a, one of only 2,000 barrier islands on the globe. It's a stake nature reserve. In fact, it doesn't occur anywhere else in the world. We're three miles from the centre of our capital city here. And I can tell you it's the envy of many a nation. We, we get uh, a lot of visitors here from abroad that are interested in ornithology or the botany of the island here. And, uh, you know, they're usually just green with envy that we have such a gem here so close to the capital. Pat also went on to tell me about the varied uses of the island over the years, including its involvement in the troubles of the 1920s. It was used as um, a cholera post. Uh, it was also used as a hospital, I suppose, for consumption. All the TB patients were here uh, to keep them away from the rest of the population. It was used by the Black and Tans for training. Uh, the island here, we had several shooting ranges and uh, combat ranges and that kind of thing. Even after many years spent on the island, Pat still feels there's more to see. Uh, I'm here on the island 21 years, and I can say that uh, it's not something many people can say about their job, is I haven't seen it all yet. After speaking with Pat, I ventured down to the beach to get up close and personal with some of the people there. First I asked if they thought it was being used to its full potential. People are so busy going yeah. to work and coming back and then, you know, they don't avail of it as much as they I should. Mean, and I notice now as well the Europeans, they come and they walk, you find lack of a lot of ways, they yeah, love it down here. Yes, they yeah. make more use of it than we do, I think. People are really availing of it now and realising the, the benefits of the walk and getting out in the fresh air. Some of the passers-by went on to tell me what they used the beach for. I swim every day during the summer on Dollymount. And my sister trains, she runs, so she uses it for running. And her husband as well. So we kind of, between us all, we walk, we swim and we run. It's just a stroll, basically. That's it, you know. Look at the scenery, what have you, you know. The ships coming in. Sometimes we used to go down to the old driving board, remember the driving board? There used to be a driving board there once a fellow was killed out and then he took her away. There are many reasons for using the beach. 
people told me some of their favourite aspects of Dolly Mount Strand. Just the expanse of it, really. I mean, if you want a long, long walk, you can, they say it's three miles down to the end there, and then I suppose you turn around and come back. So you're looking five, six mile walk, you know, round trip. I come down here most uh, mornings to exercise the dog. She needs a lot of exercise and it's great here. And most days you can let her off. The fact that cars can't go down, I think, is great. There's a, it's cordoned off down there. That has made a big difference. It used to be cars drove drove down and they'd be racing up and down. Now they're cordoned to just one little section. That makes a huge difference. The views from it are fantastic. You see Holton on one side, you see the mountains on the other side. And I think that's the beauty of it. And, and every day you come out, it's different. It's different. You know, the it's sea is different every day of life. 